Today's homework in Lesson 7.2 is on complementary, supplementary, and intersecting lines. We're going to work through a couple of the problems from the homework just to give you some examples. So looking at number one on the first page where it says complementary angles, we are going to be finding the value of x in each of the right triangle, then find the measure of the given angle. So there's two things we're doing. We're finding x and then finding the angle. So looking at this chart, we have an angle A, B, C, and then we have a line D that's kind of intersecting that. So what we know from this little triangle right here is that angle A, B, C is a 90 degree angle. So that means that this little angle here labeled 32 degrees plus 2x minus 2 degrees is going to be equal to 90 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and set up our equation. So we have 32, so number one, 32 plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 90 degrees. From this equation, the first thing we need to do now is go ahead and combine our like terms. So we have a 32 minus 2 here. So we can combine those, 32 minus 2 gives me 30. I'm going to bring down the 2x plus 2x is equal to 90. Now I have a two-step equation. Remember that your equal sign is your balancing point and you really want to isolate x. You want to get x by itself. So you need to get rid of anything added or subtracted to that. So I have this 30 here. This is a positive 30. So I want to subtract 30 to get rid of it, I have to do the same thing on the other side. I end up with 2x is equal to 60. Now I want to get rid of this 2. So this is really 2 times x. So if I do the inverse or the opposite, I'm dividing by 2 on both sides because there's my balancing point. I get x is equal to 30. So that was my first step I was solving for right here. So x is 30. Now I need to find angle D, B, C. So angle D, B, C is this angle right here. I know that x is 30. I just found that. 30 degrees. Now I need to know what this entire thing is, but I only know the x. So I'm going to have to use my x value and substitute it into that expression to find out what that angle is. So if I have 2x minus 2 and I know that x is 30, I'm going to substitute it in where the x is. So 2 times 30 minus 2 is going to give me my answer. So 2 times 30 is 60 minus 2. So 60 minus 2 is 58 degrees. So that means that angle DBC is equal to 58 degrees. And I could have added that up here too. So angle DBC was equal to 2x minus 2. So here's my answer. Now I can double check my work by adding my original 32 degrees to the 58 degrees and it should add up to 90 degrees. So if I take 32 and I add it to this angle here we just found which was 58, it indeed adds up to 90 degrees. Okay, so here's my check. I've checked it and it works. So make sure you're checking your work as well. Now let's go ahead and do one with a fraction. So number five, let's scroll down a little bit. Number five, we have a fraction in here, x divided by three. So we're going to do the process the exact same way. This is number five on the front page. We have 62 and x divided by 3 plus 1. We know it has to be equal to 90 degrees because of our little triangle here. 
So our equation is 62 plus x divided by 3 plus 1 equals 90. Now just like in our last problem, we're going to combine our like terms. And we get 63 plus x over 3 equals 90. Now we have a two-step equation. On this equation, it has a fraction, but we don't need to freak out. We can solve it the same way that we did. So we're going to subtract the 63 from both sides. These cancel out. We're left with x divided by 3 is equal to 27. We subtract that out. Then, to get rid of this fraction, the divide by 3, we have to do the opposite. And in this case, the opposite is going to be to multiply by 3. Okay. And then when we multiply by 3, we end up getting 81. So x is equal to 81. Okay. So we have our x. It's 81 degrees. And now we want to find angle C, B, D. So C, B, D is that angle there, and we have an expression. So angle, let me switch colors for you. Angle C, B, D is equal to our expression, x divided by 3 plus 1. And again, our x is 81, so we have to put that right where the x is. We're substituting it in. So we end up with angle CBD is equal to 81 divided by 3 plus 1. And then we can use our order of operations to complete the expression. So angle CBD is equal to 81 divided by 3 is 27 plus 1. So the angle is equal to 28 degrees. Again, you can check your work by adding 28 degrees, because this is going to be equal to 28 degrees now. You can add it to the 62, and it should equal 90 degrees. So if we take... 62, and we add it to 28, we get 90 degrees. So that means that we did it correctly. On the second page, we're going to go ahead and do number one with simple supplementary angles. You're going to find the value of x on each linear pair, just like we did in complementary, then find a measure of the given angle. So now we have a straight line here, we know that a straight line is 180 degrees, and we have two angles that make up that line. We have 24 degrees, and we have 3x plus 6. So this time, we're going to do the same process, 24 plus 3x plus 6, but this time it's equal to 180 degrees because it's a straight line. So just like with the complementary angles, we're still going to use our equation-solving skills to combine our like terms. 24 plus 6 is 30, plus 3x is equal to 180 degrees. Now we're going to solve our two-step equation by subtracting 30 from both sides, we end up with 3x is equal to 150. Now we want to undo this multiplication by doing the opposite, dividing. So we divide by 3 on both sides. So x is equal to 50. So now that we have our x value, our x value is 50, now we want to find the angle DBC. So our angle D, B, C is 3x plus 6. So we know that angle D, B, C is equal to 3x plus 6. We also know now that x is 50. So we're going to substitute that in for our x. So it's 3 times 50 
plus 6. Order of operations, 3 times 50 is 150, plus 6. So that angle is 156 degrees. Angle DBC is equal to 156. Now just like on the other problems, we want to check our work. So we're going to take 156 because we found that this was equal to 156 degrees. And if we add 24 to it, it should equal 180 degrees. So let's do that math. So we have 156 degrees, and if we add it to 24, let's go ahead and add that up. Six, seven, eight. Look at that. It is 180 degrees, just like it should be. So our work checked out. Now on the third page, we are looking at intersecting lines and vertical angles. So on number one, we have a set of vertical angles because they're across from each other. So we know that vertical angles are equal. So when we start to solve this, we know that 2x plus 50 has to be equal to 100. So that is our equation for number one. 2x plus 50 has to be equal to 100. Okay. 100. So now we can solve our two-step equation just like we did in the previous problems. We're going to subtract 50 from both sides. We're left with 2x is equal to 50. Then to get rid of the 2, we have to do the opposite. So we're dividing by 2 to undo the multiplication. x is equal to 25. Now, we are not finished yet, because even though x is 25, we want to know what the angle BOD is. So BOD is not the one with the expression in it. So this is kind of a trick question. Go ahead and highlight which one they're asking for. They want to know this angle right here, not the other one. So to figure that out, we're going to have to use some of our skills. We know that AOD right here, this is a straight line. So we can use what we know about supplementary angles to figure out the missing piece. Okay. So the first thing we need to know is what the actual value is of AOB. So AOB, I'm going to use different color to show you. AOB is our expression. So just like in the last problem, we're going to use the x value and figure out what that is. So angle AOB is equal to 2x plus 50. We know that 25 is x, so we can plug that in. So 2 times 25 plus 50. 2 times 25 is 50 plus 50 gives us 100. So angle AOB is equal to 100, but that is not what they're asking for down here. So that means this one is equal to 100, but we still need to know what BOD is. So to do that, we're going to use our supplementary angle rules. We know that this angle here, the 100 degree angle, plus the one we're trying to find is equal to 180 degrees. So if we take 180 and we subtract 100 from it, it'll give us this missing angle. So 180 minus 100 is 80, which means that angle BOD is equal to 80 degrees. So this one right here has to be 80 degrees. So sometimes you have to use all of your skills to find your answer.